Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to discuss the three different command mirror, symmetry, and reflect in the Rhinos 3D software. Are you ready? Let's get started. So I have a chart here to showing what they are, and but I would like to go one by one. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so if I have an open curve like this, and we've been using mirror a lot in the Rhino, so what you wanted to do, go to the mirror command, and then you can set it up anywhere as your uh, axis. So I say, this is the object that we want. We can snap in on the, to this plane. We can snap in into this point, holding the shift command, so they will be right and left identical. If you turn on the record history, what you can do is you can mirror again and make sure your record history is on and we can snap in into this point and get something like this. Anything that you are moving uh, from this original curve, it will happen, will go with it, it will move together because you have a re record history. Let me move these things on the side and then I'm going to make another copy right here and if you are using the mirror command and it's not snapping it to this point and you can get anywhere like this, you will just have a gap in the middle. Okay, the same curve, I'm going to move it to the symmetry here. The things about the symmetry is you will creating whatever in the middle and blend it for you. So for example, if you're using the command symmetry and you're snapping it to, into this point and hit enter, it's actually no different from mirror. But if you're using the same curve and you have a gap in between those, it will automatically connecting both of the curve and connect it at the end point for you. And that's the beauty of the symmetry. Again, if you turn on the history, whatever you're moving there, it will move. So that is for the open curve. What about the closed curve? I personally don't think the closed curve apply well, for example, I'm going to delete those and just simply having a circle. For the mirror command, we could simply um, using the axis anywhere. If we have an axis right in the middle, we will get something like that, right? So it depends on where your axis is. Let's try on the symmetry. If we're using the symmetry command and we want to access outside of this circle as a closed curve, it will link into a kind of a weird form uh, that will link on the top only. All right, I'm going to move it this to the top and bringing another circle right here. What if we are using the symmetry and we want it to be inside of this shape? It will do something like this. So symmetry is actually, it's better to use on the open curve. It, it's more predictable. All right, what about the surface? If I have a surface like this, this, by using the mirror, it's pretty much just identical for whatever surface you have and going in the other side, right? Now, if we are using the symmetry, let me making a copy here with a flat surface. If you look at the perspective, this guy is completely flat. Right, so if I'm using this one and I'm using the command for symmetry and then I pick up, it want me to pick up the curve in or surface edge. And this surface, it doesn't have an edge, it's because it doesn't have the direction. So I'm going to use another example. For example, I'm gonna have a curve go like this way go like this way and coming out like this. And we're simply just going to use the pipe command and we can pipe it um, with the cap. We don't want any cap, all right? And I'm just going to pipe it for whatever size there and hit enter. So I got one of the shape. If I using the symmetry command and it's going to ask me to pick up the surface edge and I'm going to pick up this guy right here and hit enter. Now you have the uh, option right here. You don't, the continuity is non-position or smooth, 
we want to choose the smooth here and I'm going to have the distance about this way and then it will connect it on both and if you take a look on the perspective this is actually a surface so the surface is flat like that it doesn't give it the symmetry doesn't apply but when you have the surface that have a direction then it will work all right, so now another thing, uh, once you have a Rhino 7, then you have a sub D, and then this has a reflect. And reflect is really similar with the idea on those. And what it does, and let me show you, I'm going to delete this guy. So if I'm going to the top view, and I'm going to the sub D tool, and then I have this guy as a sub D uh, box, or whatever box that is, and I'm going to go something like this. So in my perspective, you can see this is a box right there, all right? And I want to have a similar result like the symmetry. So what I wanted to do is I can use a reflect. If you are reflect one side to the other side, and then you want to pick up the side you want to keep. So left click on it and hit enter. Then you will have both of them. The thing that you're going to see is one is going to be darker. One is going to be uh, lighter. If you doing any change on this side for the reflect, the other side will follow something like that. Okay. I'm going to make another box right here as a sub D object, similar like that. And this time, when I choose the reflect, I'm going to reflect inside of the shape. So it's going to be something like this. And I'm going to again click on the size that I want to, uh, side I want to keep and hit enter. And you will use that middle part, the reflecting axis. So whatever you're doing right here, let's say I want to pick up all this point right at this point. And if I make them smaller, the other size will change. So that will be the reflect for the sub D. Now we have talk about the mirror symmetry and reflect. I hope that helping you clear out the differences between those commands. If you like the way I model, think about joining the membership. I have a lot of trickle tip to show you in my membership program. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.